Hello and welcome to Less Code Hub. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Power Automate Flow which adds days excluding weekends and holidays. The flow should be able to add a positive and negative number of days. Also work through multiple years. The average duration should be less than a second to be able to use it in loops without significant performance impact for the parent flow. For our demo, we have two inputs, the date, February 13th, and the number of days to add, 8 days. In this range, we should exclude February 18th and February 19th because of the weekend, and February 20th because of US holiday. We have the demo flow which tests three different cases. Adding days including weekends and holiday. Adding a large number of days to test performance. Adding a negative number of days. Let's run a flow and check the results. We can see that test one is passed properly. The return date is February 24th. Test two and test three are also finished without errors. Let's choose the actual flow. The flow doesn't require any connection reference dependencies. The average duration is less than one second for all cases, which is suitable for most scenarios. Now let's click the edit flow and investigate how it works. The flow takes two required input parameters, date and days to add. Then it initializes the configuration variable with all required properties. The range max days property determines how many dates generates in the range array. The property allows improving performance depending on days to add value. The output date initializes the response variable. Let's dive into the calculate a new date scope action. Here we have a condition for scenarios with positive and negative numbers. Let's investigate the positive numbers scenario. In the first action, we generate a range from zero to range max days, which was defined during the configuration. Then for each iteration, we create an object with three properties. Date, add the current range item days to the initial date and convert it to the common date format. So it increases by one day for each item. Day, we get a day of the week from zero to six for the current date. It will be required to determine the weekend in the next step. Holiday, check if the holidays array contains the current date, if yes set the holiday property to the true. The exclude weekends and holidays from dates map action checks the output from the previous step and removes any date if at least one of the three conditions is true. Day property is equal to zero, which is Sunday. Day property is equal to six, which is Saturday. Holiday property is equal to true. If your working week starts on Sunday then you need to change the condition to check 5 instead of 0. And the last step is to set the output date variable and return it to the parent flow. It will help others to use our flow as a child flow. The work with negative values for the days to add variable is pretty much the same. The core difference is in the select dates map action which generates dates in the reversed order due to multiplying the current range item minus 1. That's all, you can use this flow in your solutions. I have prepared a Google Drive folder that contains the solution and the package zip archives which simply can be imported into your environment. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something new. Please, write a comment on how this ready-to-use power automated flow helped in your particular business scenario.